Mm. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to give you guys just a little bit of time to get on. We have a few topics that we want to talk about. We are doing Car Chronicles. We are out and about merging in track today. Hope you guys are having a great morning, a fantabulous day. All right. Mm -mm. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys had a great morning. I hope you guys had your coffee and up and about. Said you a little prayer before you got out and about. Good morning, robot uh, Roberta Collins. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Everyone. Good morning, Special K. Linda Gamble, Miss Bridget, S. Johnson. Good morning, y'all. Hope y'all had a great morning thus far. All right. Let's get on into this uh, combo this morning that we're going to be talking about. Good morning, Carla. And everyone joining, I see everybody logging in. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right, so, good morning, Dee Dee Darden. Good morning. All right, so, um, as you guys know, I um, live already on this Nia Long and um, Aime Yudoko, which is her, I say her husband, it's, uh, they had a spiritual ceremony versus a legit ceremony where they had like a full out wedding. They had like a spiritual ceremony because he's supposed to be this very ser uh, spiritual person really doubt it according to what's in the news with the two of them with him out here acting a straight up fool I, I wouldn't i wouldn't say he's spiritual at all but um so anyway that's her man they've been together for a hot minute they have a 10 year old son okay so i do have an update on that particular uh story um and what's going on with that all right now as y'all know i made yudoko is well was now because he's been suspended a um coach for the celtics okay he's supposed to be a coach for the celtics he and nia has been dating and have been together for some years they have a 10 year old son and he was caught creeping with one of the celtics staff which now we know to be uh she's the travel agent for the team okay I said, why in the hell would you downgrade from having somebody like like Neil Long? Like, how you fump that? You know, I'm gonna use my streets, my street words out here. Camera got a little street cred, all right? How you fumble your relationship and your your situationship with Neil Long for a straight out uh, travel agent for the Celtics team? And I'm willing to bet you that she ain't bad like Neil, because y'all know, and Caramel, we, I ain't into women, but I'm just saying, in, in terms of Neil Long, somebody that still look the same, like I said, as she did when she was in Love Jones, when I tell you she is aging that way, backwards, baby, black, her black is not cracking. Do you hear me? She has been in the business for some years, and we have never, ever, not once heard any scandal as it relates to Neil Long. She has been out here being about her business, getting her coins. She's been working. She's been doing movie after movie. Every appearance that you see her, she is a very, she's a class act. She's very ladylike. She ain't out here being ghetto and turning up on people and doing none of that. Okay? So why does he feel the need to be out here embarrassing this woman and putting her through what he is putting her through? Now, it is said that Neil found out about this affair via social media when everyone else found out, which I thought to be very crazy because they said that this situation happened months ago and that Aime Yudoko, which is his name, knew about this, this story getting ready to break for months and he did not prepare Neil. He did not sit her down. He did not talk to her and let her know, hey, the story is about to break. Because who you are and because you're my woman, I want you know I want to put this bug in your ear and let you know, hey, this happened. I'm sorry. I don't want you to be embarrassed. I don't want you to be blindsided, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, but this woman to be scrolling on her phone and like I said, it's everywhere. It's on TMZ. It's everywhere. Everybody's talking about this. So imagine the embarrassment that she has had to endure and or suffer because you know he could not open his mouth as a man and let this woman know that he effed up. Okay, you did not protect her heart. You did not protect her as her man. And that is what a man is supposed to do. 
when you get with a man baby it's his responsibility to protect you to protect your heart to make sure that you are good in every aspect you should not have to look over your shoulder when you got a man a good one okay like michael jackson said just look over your shoulder honey yeah you're supposed to be there that's what a man we're gonna give the quotations marks this morning that's what a real man is supposed to do now you can open your mouth to be out here in the side chick's face telling her telling her all your little sweet nothings in your lies but you can't go to the woman that you took spiritual vows for and two and be 100 with her and that's why i have a problem with people like that yeah it's giving martel vibes it's giving you know anybody else that want to be out here in these streets acting a damn fool you know with with everything that's going on now it said that um the, the way that the relationship was found out is because the woman's husband uncovered the affair by hearing a private conversation um, through their doorbell, doorbell cam, okay, and then blasted the both of them because he was pissed that the affair was being taken place. And this was going on for months. The affair was going on for months, okay? All right, so this same travel agent who was cheating with Nia's man all right, just help Nia and her 10 year old son move to Boston to be closer to Aime Yudoko, her man. All right, so this woman knows of Nia. She knows that Aime had a woman and a 10 year old son, but she did not care. Okay, yeah, she just helped this woman move. So Nia has uprooted her son from school and from home around all his friends and everybody he know and her family to, to move to be closer to this man with the help of his side chick okay yeah with the help of his with with the help of his side chick and he didn't like i said at not one point open his mouth to even give her a heads up as to what was going on so he was going to continue to do this for months and then he wanted to get on tv and do this whole um public apology and my whole question was are you apologizing because you got caught or are you genuinely apologizing because you know that you really effed up and you know you really hurt this woman like what is your apology for because you didn't feel compelled to come to her and apologize and or issue any type of apology prior to this situation being public you knew about it for months you knew that they were getting ready to suspend you for months you knew that you weren't going to have a job for months but you did not say anything to this woman and you don't ask her to uproot herself and her son to come when you ain't about to have no job. So who gonna pay all the bills? I'm guessing she was gonna pay them so that you could be out running with the side chick on her dime. These men out here, and I'm not man, I'm not male bashing today, but I'm gonna say these cheating, disrespectful ass men have like this. It's just too much. It's too much. I, I really hope that she done broken and very upset about this situation. Okay, and and my whole thing is the embarrassment that her son has to endure. He two of them, but I'm just gonna say this: it had to be something that was very, very damaging for this husband to snap off like he did and just put the both of them on blast. Okay, yeah, it, it they must have been really probably just really talking about some some serious serious stuff because he stood there and he listened to that conversation. And he went and reported both of them. All right? Yeah. So my whole thing is this. Like I said, with her never having any scandals, that has to be very, very heartbreaking for her. And then he's supposed to be, like I said, this very spiritual person. I don't see it. I'm sorry. I I, I don't see it. And with a name, name like I, me, like I, me. Like, who the hell are you, sir? It just comes off as being very, I don't know. Like, he really think he the shit out here. Now, granted, he is a very good-looking man, but so what? Where's your integrity? Where is your integrity, sir? You got, like I said, you got a woman out here like Nia Long. For you to even be able to pull her should have made you do right. Because she ain't just your regular chicks. Nia Long, Nia Long is, is that, that chick from back, way back in the day to steal that chick now today. All right? Not everybody out here can pull Nia Long. All right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why these men feel like they could just be out here disrespecting women. And I'm not just saying just Neil, just women, period. 
You know, that's that same mess I say about that damn Martell. And I keep bringing him into this situation because it is the same actions. For you to feel that you can do this and get away with it and that somebody is supposed to still stay with you because you want to call it a mistake. Cheating is not a mistake. You did not slip and fall and your penis went up in somebody. Like, we're not about to do that. Like, no, 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 no. You did not slip on no banana peel and fall on top of somebody and wind up having no affair with him. We're not going to do that. That's not what we're doing out here. We're just not going to do it. We are not going to do it. And you don't ask this woman to be with you and have this whole spiritual connection with you and uproot and move with you. And then you can't even respect her enough to sit her down and tell her that you disrespected her and that she is about to be hit by so many different angles and, and, and the media all in her face with cameras flashing in her face because she's attached to you for something that you did. She didn't go out here and cheat, but because she is attached to him, now she has to take on all of the, um, the negativity that is attached to this situation because of his actions. And he's standing there like he looking like he want to cry, doing a whole apology. You won't cry when you were cheating. Where were those tears at when you were cheating? You you crying because your wallet about to be flat out here. Y'all know what I mean when I say your wallet about to be flat. You about to be broke because your ass don't have a job no more. Yeah, they got rid of him as the coach, the head coach for the Celtics. Because you want to be out here downgrading for the peasant. You had a queen at home, but you wanted to be with the peasant. Just like Martell. Just like damn Martell. And then you on TV, he on TV talking about, oh, I miss my marriage and, and I'm not going to mess up the name. Yes, you are. Because it's in you. You're going to mess with, you're going to jump into another situation with somebody else and do the same thing because that is who you are and that is how you operate. You don't know no better. You don't know no better. He ain't learned nothing from the last time. And it's the same thing with this I me you doko. Oh my God, that just pissed me off when I saw that story. I was just like the, the sheer audacity of this fool to just be out here feeling like he could just disrespect somebody like that. And then he had people on the team trying to speak up to keep him as the head coach like Matt Barnes who was on there. Y'all know who Matt Barnes is. He was... um married to old girl that used to be on basketball wife gloria y'all remember Gloria? he used to be married to gloria gloria wound up cheating on him with another basketball coach like what is it with them so matt barnes is gonna speak up for i made idoko saying that he don't feel that it was fair for them to get rid of him because of what he did but my thing is he didn't know the whole story so he had to come back and apologize and retract his statement as to say hey i didn't know the whole story before i came out to speak out so I I really hope that Neil Long is okay in this situation, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, you need to learn. You need to keep your mouth shut until you know everything, sir. Like, we get it. You don't want, you know, he's on the team and whatnot, and you don't want to see him lose his job. But at the same time, keep that same energy as it relates to you. You done been through the same thing. You were cheated on. So that should have been a red flag for you to, to kind of do your digging and your due diligence before you want to be speaking up and trying to protect somebody who is also out here a cheater and is disrespectful. Don't be trying to save his job. Don't be trying to save his job. Like, mind your business, sir. Go in there and put some curl activator on your hands. Sit down with them damn curls. Ain't nobody asked you nothing around here. Go in there and spray some soul glow on them curls and sit down. Ain't nobody asked you nothing, Matt Barnes. Okay? Yeah, if you watching my channel, Caramel said, go put some curl activator on them damn curls and go in there and sit it down, sir. Because ain't nobody asked you to give no statement. As it relates to no damn knee alone, no I made it doko. Okay? Ain't nobody asked you. Yeah. I move on past this because this, oh Lord. When I tell you that, that just pissed me off. That just pissed me off. But like I said, he has since been suspended. And that's good for his ass. Because that's what he get. All right? Do I, do I feel sorry for you, sir? I do not. Okay? My prayers go to Neil Long, baby, because that's who need him, baby. She done uprooted her life to come and be closer to you. And you already knew the mess that you were getting ready to put her through and that this situation was about to crack and you ain't open your mouth but you can open your mouth to do other stuff yeah we're gonna be real raw this morning you can open your mouth to do other stuff and to be talking and, and, and talking all that slick mess through the little doorbell cam you can open your mouth then mm -hmm. 
but you couldn't open your mouth to sit your woman down and tell her the truth as to what was going on out here. That's what I don't understand. It's a hot damn mess. It's a hot damn mess. You, you're giving off punk vibes. Yeah, go put some damn curl activate on them curls and sit it down. Nobody asked his ass nothing. Put some on the front and some in the back too, because the back was the, yeah, it was looking kind of dry when you was on there doing your little video, Matt Barnes. Nobody don't see you in them damn dry curls. We just don't want to see them. Go sit your ass down somewhere. Looking like a pug. I hear looking like a pug with a jerry curl. Go sit it down. Nah. Moving on. Moving on past their asses, because they done pissed me off this morning. Uh, basketball wife star, if y'all know who uh, she is, Brooke Bailey, okay? Real pretty, kind of, um, she's kind of like a like a uh, dark skin type. She's real pretty with long, long hair, y'all know. She bucked up on Jackie. Y'all know who she is, Brooke Bailey. She, they just brought her back for this season of Basketball Wives. If y'all watch that Ratchet show, honey. When I want a little Ratchet something in my life, baby, I go on and tune in Basketball Wives because I know they're going to give me the complete Ratchet, okay? Her um, daughter, it said her daughter died yesterday, um, passed away in a very bad car accident. Now, her daughter is 25 years old, y'all. 25. And she passed away yesterday in a very tragic car accident. Now, if y'all watched the show, she was... Brooke just had her daughter on um, this past season of Basketball Wives because she was explaining to her daughter and her son was on there as well. She was explaining to her kids that, you know, she wanted to have another baby. She's newly married again, okay? Brooke is newly married and she wants to have another baby. And she was explaining to her daughter, like I said, who is 25 and her son who is also grown that she wanted to have another kid. And they just kind of wasn't feeling it. They like, mama, what? Like, your kids are grown. Like, why you want to go back and be having a whole baby out here? But they later accepted the fact that that's what she wanted. So she was trying to do in vitro fertilization to have another child. So now, um, and then Brooke, she did like this post online where she was talking about her daughter recently passing away. Um, and I did some digging and found out that it was through a tragic car accident. Cause y'all know Caramel stayed digging, baby. I said, oh, Okay, I, we, everybody's saying that she passed away. I want to know what happened. Was she sick? Like, what happened? And that is what it is. She passed away uh, by way of a bad car accident. All right, so condolences and prayers to her. She was very, very close to her daughter. You could tell they just had, like, this, this super bond uh, between the two of them. So I know that this is really, really taking her to a very, very dark place. All right? Uh, as, as it relates to her daughter passing away in this accident. I said, Lord... Lord, 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 Lord. I don't know what I would do if that was me in that situation. So prayers for her, y'all. Prayers for her. All right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to go over those two things this morning. Uh, that darn, oh, Lord, there's an accident. I hope they're okay. Mm, child, y'all need a mm, bad accident over there. These folk out here driving like they, ain't, like they done got their license from Walmart or somewhere, child. Mm, them great value license. Jesus. But anyway... Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all, just, y'all, y'all got to stop messing with these sorry ass men, though. Let's, let's talk about that. We talked about it the other day, honey. Know your value. Know your value. And I'm not saying that Nia did not know her value as it relates to Ame Edoko, but at the end of the day, honey, yeah, stop staying with these sorry ass men because they feed you these guys and BS, okay, about they're going to change and they're going to do better because it's, they're, they're, they're not, yes. They're not. Their intentions, if your intentions are out here to be cheating, like cheating, like I said, is a conscious decision. It just is. It just is. Like, not at one point did you think of me enough to say, you know what? What would this do to my woman if I do this to her? If I go out here and mess with this person, what would this do to my woman if she found out? And let's flip it, because women cheat too. Women don't be out here running around with, with all these men and cheating on your man. If you got a good one at home, respect that. Think to yourself, how will my man feel if I'm out here messing around? And, you know, because there's stuff out there now. I keep telling people. I don't know why people think they can just be out here cheating and it is just okay. It's diseases out here. That alone would scare me. Like, for real, for real. You cannot be out here just running around with just random people. Having this casual sex out here. You just cannot be doing it. I don't know what was going on in Neil Long and, and Aime Yudoko's relationship. You could be cooking for this person you can give them sex 24 a day and they can still go out and cheat it's just in them you have to keep your eyes open and like we talked about the other day tuition follow your in follow your intuition out here follow your intuition 
If your intuition is telling you something, follow it up. Because at the end of the day, it's not nudging you for no reason. Okay? Intuition is everything. Women, we got it. We have intuition. You know, I don't know why he chose to choose down to, to a damn travel agent. Like, dude, you got a whole millionaire woman at home. That's what I just did not understand. I said, oh, Jesus, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Stop running back to these sorry ass men and women. Women can be sorry too. Stop running back to those situations thinking that things are going to change. I applaud and I always take it back to Melody Martell. I applaud Melody for getting away from Martell and getting out of that situation and not going back. Because then, you, then you're saying to them that it's okay. That behavior is not okay. You setting yourself up to be to be in situations that you could have avoided. I'm just saying, you got to get away from situations like that because it's designed to kill, steal, and to destroy you. It is straight from the devil. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I am telling you. A person who who is a who is a cheater like Martel and this damn I man Yudoko and so many other men out there. It's like they're on a mission to destroy not only themselves but to destroy the person that they're with. This man was looking in this woman's face day after day after day after day, knowing what he had going on, and not at one point in time. Did he feel the need to say anything to her to give her a heads up so that she would not be feeling embarrassed? That's just too much for me. Reputation is everything, especially for her being in the industry, like I said. Now everybody is looking at her like, damn, girl. Everywhere she's going, people want to talk about it, and she just want to get over this mess. She is trying to get over this. She is heartbroken. That she has given up her life and then moved up out of her own house to go stay with him. Knowing that this mess is going on. This is just too much, y'all. I said, oh, Jesus. Lord, I said, the Lord know who to put this on, baby. Because had that been me, I'm sorry, baby. I, oof, I'm sorry, baby. Caramel would have had to probably swing off on his ass just a couple times just to let him know. And I ain't, I ain't by any sense of the word. I'm not violent, but baby, just that alone, honey. I would have had to put the paws upon him just a few times. To let his ass know, I don't know who you think you out here playing with. Sometimes you got to you gotta give somebody some act right when they get to acting like that. Because you're starting to feel yourself a little bit. You know how mommy have to give your pop back in the day. His ass need to be, he need a few pops. So he can come back to reality and realize, look, I don't know who you think you playing with. But you're not going to continue to play in my face like that, bro. Like, that's not what we're going to be doing out here in these streets. Or any streets. Side streets either. We're not going to do that. No, sir. That's just team too much. You're not about to put my health at risk out here running around with all these people. You're just not going to do it. You're just not going to do it. You are just not going to do it and continue to play with me like that. And embarrassing my son in that way. Like, no. No, no, no. But like we talked about the other day, guys. Know your worth. It goes back to that. Know your worth, honey. I think she knows her worth because I think she's done with his ass. Now he want to sit down and talk. Now It's like now. Like why now? You were mute before this situation broke. Now you want to sit down and have all this stuff to talk about. This woman ain't trying to talk to him. She ain't trying to stay with him. She ain't trying to hear nothing he got to say. Now you want to talk. You looking at me in my face every morning. Okay. And you ain't had nothing to say then. But now the TMZ talking about it. How TMZ talking more than you when you supposed to be my man? You supposed to be talking more than they are. Now you want to sit down and be begging and pleading. You want to be on your James Brown out here. Please, please. No, I don't want to hear that shit. We don't want to hear that. You couldn't talk to me before TMZ and everybody else want to be talking about it when you knew about it for months? Nah. We don't want to hear about it now. We ain't hear about it and we don't want to hear about it now. I don't want to hear no apologies. That's like that. I would be on that. I'll be like, I don't want to hear no apologies. I don't want to hear nothing. You, nothing you got to say. You ain't really got to explain it to me. Really, what I'm about to be doing, and I don't need your travel agent to help me. I'm gonna pack my stuff up and my ten year old, and we are gonna head on back to where we just moved from, baby. Okay. I'm gonna go and enroll him back in school so he can be with his friends, and, and go ahead and lose my number, and, and be waiting for this child support paper paperwork to be coming towards you. From the coat house, all right? That's what that's what we're gonna be on. 
because I'm not going to stay in no situation that's detrimental to me and or my child and continue to allow you to embarrass me. Because just like you didn't tell me that you were out here cheating, had you caught something, you would not have opened your mouth to let me know that I need to go get checked out. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. And that's how these fools be out here. That's how these fools be, be sitting out here with 379 damn bumps and will not open their mouth to even say anything to you. To say, hey, go get checked out. I messed up. I don't went out here and done caught something. They ain't going to tell you. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, sir. I value my I value my health and my life way too much to be playing them kind of reindeer games. No, we're not going to play them reindeer games at all. At all. You don't have no respect for yourself. You don't have no respect for me. Respect come, hey, if you, if you don't respect this person first, you don't respect me. So I'm not going to allow you to be in my space and disrespect me and have my ass sitting up at the clinic having to get shots and take medication day after day for a situation that you chose to be out here doing. You're not going to kill me because you don't want to do right. You're not going to have me out here looking sick with my hair falling out because you want to have a moment. Like, we're not doing that. And I respect her for, for turning around and walking away from this situation. But my thing is, when you walk away, do not go back. Do not go back. And that's the problem I have with a lot of women. I, I Don't go back. When you come up out of a situation, when God bring you out of a certain situation that is detrimental to you, do not go back. What are you going back for? What are you turning around and going back for? The situation ain't going to get no better. It just ain't going to get no better. You just saying to that person, hey, you disrespected me before and I'm back. So you, you can continue to disrespect me because that's what they're going to continue to do. That's what they're going to continue to do. Now, I get it. Yes, people can get counseling and sometimes they do change. But that, hey, that's not my problem no more. When you decide to take it there to where you want to be disrespectful, you continue to work on yourself. I'm going to continue to live my life. I'm not waiting on you to fix yourself. I'm not doing that because that's not my problem. I'm not going to make your problem my problem. That's how I look at it. I'm not, I'm not going to make my problem, make your problem my problem. I'm going to go out here and live my life and do what I feel I need to do. Okay? Yeah, I'm not going to stay in no situation like that. No, sir. And women out here, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't stay in situations like that. If you're in an abusive situation, get out of there. Get out of there. Don't go back. Don't go back because it's not going to get no better. Let's have some respect for ourselves out here as women and men. Men go through go through it too. And I say women a lot because, yeah. But men too, men get cheated on as well. Don't stay in situations that's detrimental to you. That's going to put you in a situation to where you're going to be out here. Like I said, with your hair falling out, with, with diseases and mess like Don't nobody got time for that, y'all. We do not have time for that. It's too many good people out here that you can attach yourself with. Or be by yourself for a while. That's, I don't know why people don't want to be by themselves. To learn yourself. To, to heal. You got to take time to heal when you've been through stuff. I don't know why people want to be jumping out the fire, the frying pan into the fire out here. I don't get it. You got people that don't want to be by themselves. And those be out here doing the cheating and messing around. Because they have not taken time to heal. You are jumping from person to person to person. Transferring all these spirits and diseases. Instead of sitting down somewhere. And learning who you are and healing. That's the problem I have with Martell in this past damn uh, episode where he's talking about he ready to get married again. No, you not. You ain't did no work on yourself. Like Melody said, he ain't been to no counseling sessions that the judge ordered him to go to. He has done nothing. But still out here running around cheating and doing what he want to do. He has done, he's taken no accountability. He's done nothing. But the first thing out of your mouth is you miss having a woman by your side and you ready to get married again and you don't want to wait another five to six years. So you're ready to jump right back out there and mess up somebody else's life is what you're saying. In so many words, you're ready to jump back out there and mess up somebody else's life. You done messed up this woman's life after her being with you for 14 years. That's 14 years of her life she cannot get back. 15 years of her life that she cannot get back that she tolerated your BS from day one because it was said he cheated since day one and it's men out there that's like that and they feel like because a person stay with them that they can continue to do that that it gives them a right to do it and they can and they condition themselves 
to do these things and continue to disrespect the person that they're with because they think it's okay. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. My hat goes off to to Neil Long, like I said, for choosing to walk away from this situation. And I really, really hope. Yes, honey, I really, really hope that. Yeah, I hope she stays away from him and not go back. All right. That's all I have for you guys this morning. I wanted to break that situation with the um, I May Yudoko and Nia Long um, update. And also, I wanted to um, give you guys the um, news about Brooke Bailey's daughter who tragically passed away yesterday in a uh, car accident, okay? Yeah, that was very, very sad. Um, like I said, she's, she did a very long IG post where she talked about her daughter um, and her passing. I said, Lord, 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 Lord. Um, Brooke called her um, her her um, nickname that he called that she called her daughter was Pretty Black. She's real pretty girl, real pretty girl. She had that that uh, skin tone just like Brooke and that real pretty long long hair, just like Brooke. She looked just like Brooke, like a younger version of Brooke. Uh, Brooke. So rest in peace to her. That's so sad, so so sad. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in this morning. That's all I had for you guys. Um, and we will have Car Chronicles again tomorrow, okay? We'll have some more um, interesting topics to talk about. I'll try to throw in a little bit more topics um, for you guys tomorrow as well, okay? You guys have a great Monday. It's the top of the week. Let's get through it. I'm tired too, y'all. Just like everybody else, I'm tired. We got to get it, all right? Y'all have a great day. Y'all be blessed. Be safe out there. And enjoy your day. We'll be back tomorrow for more Car Chronicles. If you did not hit the like button, please hit the like button. And also subscribe to this channel if you have not, okay? Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you also for my moderators doing such a fantabulous job um, helping me out here. I thank you guys so much, okay? Thank you guys for all the cash apps. Thank you guys for any super stickers that you may have sent, okay? Um, I really, really appreciate it. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. And thank you guys. All right.